Hi guys, it's Jason here from Head First. Four years ago, I published a video on how to mod an Origin 20 to turn it into a 2204 style JCM 800. It's fair to say that that video helped to launch my YouTube channel. Along the way, someone suggested that rather than modding the stock Marshall board, someone should create a drop-in printed circuit board that you could use to mod your Origin. Well, someone has, right? These boards here uh, are drop-in replacement boards for an Origin. They have been designed and created by Alex Catlow at Sirius Amplification here in Melbourne, Australia. Alex is a mate of mine um, and a very gifted designer. And he has created these boards so that the DIY enthusiast can purchase one of these, uh, populate the board using the supplied bill of materials, uh, and drop it into your origin and completely transform your amplifier whilst not changing or hacking up or destroying the stock circuit boards that come with the amp. So I guess at some point in the future, you want to return your amp to stock, you just pull this out, put the stock origin back in. So what we're going to do on this introductory video is I'm going to show you the features uh, that Alex has implemented in these boards. Uh, I'll give you a sample of the tones that you'll get with that, and we will have a look at uh, the completed amplifier with these new boards in it on the bench so you can get an idea of the construction uh, and the level of skill that would be required to mod your origin with one of these. Spoiler alert, it's less skill than what you'll need to mod the stock amp. Okay, so here we have Alex's uh, donor amp. This is an Origin 20. Okay, this is the combo version. So when we look at the faceplate, it's the lettering's kind of reversed, but you know the order of the pots and the function of the pots is identical to the head. And we can actually see very quickly here what the completed amp looks like. And as I said, we will take this to the bench and give it a more thorough workout. So let's have a look at the features on the front of the amp so you can get an idea of how the controls work now. Okay, so we have in the stock origin, we have this gain pot, push-pull. This is the same. Okay, so this is the gain. You've got to think of this like a JCM800 style 2204 amplifier now where we have like a gain and a master volume. So this first pot here is our gain and it is push-pull. Um, so pushed in, it's a 10K cold clipper cathode. Uh, so very much like a JCM800, you know, 2204. Uh, pushed out, we uh, that second cathode goes into a kind of hot gain stage and you'll hear when I demo the tones that you get a hell of a lot more gain with this thing pulled out. The tilt pot, Alex has moved this into a variable slope or mid shift, right? Slope resistor for the tone stack. So here you can actually kind of dial in, you know, kind of slightly more mid bump aggressive tones and also kind of more of a mid scoop style SLO, dual rec style tone. Uh, so pretty cool feature this one also a push pull pot and when it's pulled out uh, what we get is a cathode bypass cap on v2a so like a fat cap style arrangement here standard eq what you'd expect on the treble pot also push pull this is the last of the uh, push pull features in the amp uh, this is a uh, diode clipping mod Okay, so when it's pushed in, no diode clipping, you pull it out, diode clipping comes into play. And then we have our normal uh, pre-phase inverter master volume, just like you would see in a 2204, or a 2203 for that matter. And obviously a presence pot. Uh, let's have a listen to it.
All right, guys, so let's check out this piece of uh, genius printed circuit board design. This is, as you can see, right, it's a dead drop-in replacement for the stock origin main board and the front board for the pots, okay? So from a mod perspective, we're keeping the, uh, the printed circuit board that Marshall have in the stock amp for the jacks on the rear, the speaker jacks and the effects loop. Uh, the DI output, this is all just left untouched. But what we have is, as you can obviously see, is a drop-in replacement for the main board and the front. So in terms of a mod, what you'll be looking at doing uh, is reusing all of these connectors Right, so you're going to pull all these spade connectors off your stock amp, unscrew the main board, lift it out, drop in this printed circle board that you would have fully populated. Right, So the mod board will come with a bill of materials which will list out the relays that you need, these caps, these filter caps and so on. You can populate this board yourself and the front printed circle board. With the pots as well and Alex has found the part numbers for these uh, pots that Marshall are using in the origin so the push-pull pots um, so once you've got your board populated the job of dropping this in uh, and just literally connecting the spade connectors here and you can see that this mod cleverly reuses the existing Marshall connectors here. Um, even this one could, can be reused, right? So uh, all the ones on the main board here. So a couple of cool features that I will mention um, in terms, you know, on here. There's a switch here. You can see it's this is the obviously the pole pieces of a double pole, double throw switch, which is activated. You can access on the front. You got to drill through there if you want to use this feature. You don't have to use this feature. It's a switch to move you between fixed and cathode bias. And in the Origin 20, uh, it is a cathode bias amp. Um, but with this switch here, you can move it to fixed bias mode because the board has all of the circuitry required for a bias voltage on your power tubes to run it in fixed bias mode. And it'll you know give you slightly different tone so this is well suited to someone who really you know wants to undertake a diy project doesn't want to you know hack up their stock origin board you can take the stock boards out put them to the side keep them safe keeping plonk one of these in here um, really completely change the characteristics of your amplifier while still retaining the stock boards that you can at you know some point in the future you might choose to put the stock boards back in and return your amp to stock well all right pretty cool diy project for the enthusiast you will find these boards available on the evolvediy.com website i'll put a link into the description now you will find these along with a bunch of other project and mod boards that you can use for your home uh, DIY tube projects. I'll catch you on the next video guys. If you're into DIY and modding then head over to our DIY supply store over at EvolveDIY.com and if you're ready for the real thing then do check out our amps at headfirstamps.com. Links down in the description of the video.